What is going on everybody? Haxa here with a game I haven't played on this channel before. Uh, it is called Revita or Revita. I actually don't know which of those it's pronounced as, but what I will say about this game is it's certainly one of the best roguelites I've ever played in my entire life. Uh, I adore this game and I've only just gotten started with it really, but uh, I think this game is a juggernaut of the genre that is woefully, woefully uh, underrated. And I think it deserves to be uh, played and seen and bought by more people than it has been. So that's basically my goal with this uh, showcasing of this game on my channel. Is hopefully people find this video and see this game and are like, huh, what's that? That sounds interesting. And then they see how amazing it is while I play it. And they decide for themselves that they want to buy it. And just a little bit of a, of a background and overview of what this game is. This game is called Revita or Revita. I'll probably just keep calling it Revita. Uh, if that's wrong, I apologize. Um, it is a roguelite, uh, similar, yeah, I would say, uh, not, actually not similar, I guess, but inspired by Enter the Gungeon and The Binding of Isaac, about a kid going on a journey to get over their grief. They are going through the five stages of grief, and I, I, I haven't beaten the game, I haven't gotten the true ending yet, so I actually... I guess I'm assuming things, but I assume their goal is to overcome the uh, the horrors of going through grief and loss and hopefully healing, you know, hopefully they uh, they heal. I, I don't know, but we might find out together in this video because uh, I have gotten to the point in the game where you can get the true ending and I haven't gotten it yet. This could be a video where we get it. Who knows? Uh, that's certainly the goal, but um, just to get into the mechanics of Revita. Uh, unlike other roguelites, which have many uh, forms of currency in it and ways to upgrade your uh, well, your run, Revita pretty much relies exclusively, except for keys, of course, but the main way you upgrade your run is through your HP. So anytime you want to up, you know, upgrade a relic or buy a relic or um, any number of things, really, uh, buy stuff at the shop, you need to spend HP points, which is, in my opinion, what really makes this game so uh, in-depth and strategic. Like, you have to always uh, be deciding um, if uh, spending your HP on something is worth it or not. And there's more mechanics that I will explain as I go, but that's like the, the most basic mechanic you need to know about this game. Also, this gun here, it is a gun-based game. Uh, it is a bullet hell game, so there's, there's a lot of dodging and weaving. We have a dash here that's going to help us a lot. Uh, this gun, there's, I think, eight different guns, if I'm remembering right. And uh, there's always a gun that gives extra resources, like this here. I did say there's only HP as a resource, but uh, this resource is like for permanent upgrades. Like you could unlock relics and stuff with, uh, with that resource from this guy. But we don't have enough to uh, actually afford anything, so we're not going to bother with him right now. And this will give us more resources, so we're going to bring this gun with us. And uh, these are shards here. I think I already mentioned it briefly, but there are shards in this game. Uh, each shard makes the game a little bit harder. You uh, earn shards as you beat the game on the highest difficulty you've unlocked. And I'm at shard 5 here, which... Uh, you know, here we have you lower have less HP at the start. Enemy speed, enemies move faster. Uh, enemies from later areas uh, appear in earlier areas. So like, you know, an enemy from the end of the game can appear at the start of the game. Not, not with this one. This one's like from the next area ahead of the one you're in. But I'm sure it'll continue to stack on as I go. Uh, boss rooms can be harder which I've come across a few of these so far, and they can be insanely difficult. And here we are at five, which makes enemy sh uh, bullets faster. Sounds horrible, by the way, sounds horrifying, but I also get Relic Rarity up, which is a bonus instead of a, a, a debuff. Increases Relic Rarity at Mother Statues, which, hey, that's good. So it doesn't just punish you, it also helps you a little bit. Here we have tickets, I don't have any right now, but tickets are little bonuses you can get at the start of a run that help you along. Uh, there would be a bunch of them here, but we only have the key. And the key is free. Some tickets cost resources to use, but we don't have any of those, so we don't have to worry about them right now. And the trainers come to pick us up to take us on our way to begin our journey. So we are now getting this show on the road.
and uh, we don't have to watch that cutscene I just decided to at the start just to show you how beautiful this game is and how well animated it is but we don't have to watch it every time here we see an NPC this guy is a blowhard who isn't really powerful himself but he uses us to uh, to do great acts of courage and spread his name throughout the lands he basically allows you to fight a stronger enemy eventually on in the level who will give you more resources than a normal enemy would but they are much harder and um, another thing about this game that you oh, damn it we already took damage <laughs> another thing about this game that you need to uh, always be aware of are secret rooms there are secret rooms uh, in possible in a lot of the rooms that you enter though some rooms can't have secret rooms in it this one can though and I will explain that further as we come across a room that can't have a secret room in it for now uh, you have to shoot walls to check if there are hidden walls behind them uh, there are none in this room so we don't have to worry about that just yet but if oh this is rare actually we found a chest you should, sometimes at the end of a room after you're done fighting everything in it you can find an item uh, but this time we found a chest, which is very good, and I haven't seen this in a while, so I'm very happy to have gotten it in the first room of the run. Maybe that bodes well for the run, who knows. Uh, very, you know, we got a key from that. That is a type of currency in this game, but you can only use it really to unlock uh, other rooms that you can then spend HP to get stronger. And there is one NPC that will give us directly items for keys but he is just one NPC everyone else wants your HP and they want it now uh, okay there is a secret room in here so I can talk about that a little bit uh, we did get a shield their shields count as HP they're much like they are in the enter the gungeon but they actually have two HP instead of the one HP in from gungeon uh, there are different kinds of uh, hidden walls oh we have a double chest here that actually takes two keys from me, which we happen to have, but it gives good rewards. So very worth it to spend your keys on this if you see it. And this was super worth it. Increases your damage multiplier by 10%. That is, wait, is that? No, okay, telescope. Okay, so this is a, a basic item you can get that gives you more damage. That one's worth 10% and this one's worth 5%. We have a key and now we have the telescope observatory rooms have a higher chance to appear and they don't require a key to enter so we now have a 20 percent chance to find a observatory which i actually don't know what an observatory is if i'm being honest but i'll still take the item it seems like it could be good um still looking for secret rooms of course never don't look for secret oh actually no no here's a room that can't have a secret room in it because this room has a normal door in it and i am almost positive though i hope i'm not spreading misinformation if i am someone can correct me if a room has a normal door in it it cannot have a secret room that is what i've come to understand just by playing this game but if i'm wrong let me know um but we're not we're also not going into that room either because it won't help us because we're going into a sacrifice room that door would have had a chest behind it that we could spend hp to get an item at but we have the sacrifice room here which is the same thing but better so let's see what the uh, NPC has to offer us here. Okay, that is kind of scary. Uh, that seems weak. And this seems weak too. This is not good. I think I'll take this. Will I? Man, this is... This is a very scary relic to me. I haven't ever gotten this before, but just conceptually, it, it sounds horrifying. Hmm. What would be better? Not this. This would be the, um, the safe option. I think I'll take it. I'm too scared of that other relic. Forgive me. I don't want to, uh, throw this run away right off the gate uh this is not in my opinion the best sub weapon though these are sub weapons though this one is even a weapon um they're just little weapons that you can get that you can also deal damage with besides your gun but this one is just a hook it's basically like a, a long dash but um oh another secret room by the way if you get towards a wall and the music stops playing that means there is a secret room and these are more obvious secret rooms than the first one we found. 
But there are different kinds of secret rooms that are like, um, they vary on difficulty of finding. Uh, up there is a honeycomb, we want to destroy that. Honeycombs are uh, a means to get to a bonus level, or a secret level I should say, it's not really a bonus level. Uh, there are two bonus levels that I know of, that is one of them to get to the true ending. And we're certainly going to try to do the true ending, so we will definitely be trying to break the honeycombs here. There are three total that we have to break. As you can see here, there's a door over here, so... And that is a door to a shop. Excuse me. Uh, a normal shop. And we can spend HP here to buy items. And what do they have? Uh, this seems really good, actually. Because we already have really good fire rate. Uh, it just slightly lowered our fire rate, but it made us way stronger, so... Uh, this doesn't seem good. I'm not buying that. Or I might actually just to sell it. What, what do we currently have? Does it have Celestial on it? No. Um... Yeah, I'll buy it. Just to sell it later and get a free upgrade. There are things called Relic Hammers in this game that you can sell items for that allow you to upgrade an item. Otherwise, that you would have to use your HP on, you can just do it for free. So we will buy that and sell it. Very good, very useful. Uh, we're not gonna kill this blob here because we want to check for a uh, secret. Ooh, okay, there is no secret level in here. So we can very freely kill these enemies. Yeah, no secret level. I always like, I, I don't know, I'm just paranoid. I, I like to check, even though I'm almost certain that that is correct information. I still am just paranoid and I check. This is a way better item, in my opinion, than what we have. Though they are pretty similar. I haven't shown the hook yet, but that's the hook. You can like pull yourself through, uh, through an enemy. But I, I prefer this. It's, it reflects, it's like a shield that reflects enemy bullets and makes you invincible. They do similar things. But, uh, I like this one more. Up there's our honeycomb, so we do have the second honeycomb. The third one is at the end of the level. So now we don't have to worry about, uh, missing going to the secret level. We're gonna go, and very happy about that. Oop. Oh, okay, there is no secret room in here. Okay, good. Then we can just go right through. And we did get an item here, more damage. Always happy to see that. We're actually in the positive now, which is really good with a machine gun. It's a very fire... Uh, it, actually, this is very similar to the basic gun at this point. Hmm, interesting. Uh, more uh, more damage. Very happy to see more damage. Uh, so far, so good with this run. We have some pretty decent items that we can work with here. What I would like to see is some status items. That would be really good. Because with the fast fire rate of the uh, machine gun... Ooh, there's a challenge room. And we're almost to the boss. I, I talked about it at the start of the run when we saw that NPC. Um, he uh, sets a boss for you later on in the stage, and we're almost to that boss. This is a challenge room. You can uh, do a challenge with certain conditions. If you succeed, you get a bunch of loot. This one's very easy. We just have to defeat the enemies, and we should be able to do that with no issues at all. Uh, free challenge, basically. Free loot. Can't go, uh, can't go wrong with that. And it's basically the same exact waves of... Actually, it's literally the same waves of enemies both times. So, free stuff. Uh, there's the Relic Hammer I was talking about. Now we have two of those coming up. Uh, max soul up. Uh, half of a soul... Okay, so the soul segment fragment thing gave us more uh, storage for our souls. And what these do is if you focus enough times, you can gain a max HP or you can heal. Very useful. Very happy to see that item. We're going to still look for a secret room in here. Okay, here's our boss. Um, he doesn't seem too bad, honestly. This is like one of the easier bosses. We just have to get rid of these guys. Ooh, okay, we dashed out of the way in time. Make sure we don't leave these souls behind. Uh, kill this guy as well, because he might snipe us from across the map. We have to be careful. And just like that, he's dead. Very, very easy, very simple. And he unfortunately gave us a provision bag, which I say unfortunately, provision bag is really good. The only downside is we got it in the first act, which means, uh, and I'll read the item to you, increases your max HP and increases your damage by a lot, but only, but also decreases it for each subsequent beaten area. So once we beat this area, it, we're going to lose 5% of, uh, 
of the uh, attack bonus from that. But the good thing about it is, is it upgrades to with 10% of damage, so we can outscale the damage drop off fairly easily. So it's still good to get. I just would have liked to have seen it later on in the run. Not that it matters. Here's our first boss, Denial. First stage of grief. Uh, he's not so bad, actually. He's actually really easy. But um, much like in Gungeon, you're, you should try your best to perfect a boss because you can gain a max HP off of it. And really, like, like I said, this game is all about HP. So the more HP you can have, the better off you'll be. So always be trying to max out. Ooh! Ooh! We almost took damage there. Very, very close. Okay, I wasted my shield, but it's not a big deal. It charges pretty quickly. I just got scared <laughs> after the near miss we had there. Uh, yeah, Denial is nothing special. He is very easy. Or I guess it is very easy. Um, yeah, we're almost we're almost done with it. Uh, just watch out whenever he goes up in the air. Watch out for his slam attacks. Uh, he's out of reach right now, though we could jump up and kill him if we wanted to. But eh, he's coming back down and he's dead. Perfect boss, max HP gotten. Uh, we're happy. We're moving on. We're feeling good. Uh, sorry, I'm drinking some water. And we also got 10% damage off of that as well. So we're actually doing really well with our all of our stat, all the important stats at least. The final uh, honeycomb is here. Make sure you break it, and then you can move on. And we are through the first boss. Got a relic hammer. We're feeling very good. Get back onto the metro, and in here we can now upgrade our relics. So what do we have here? I think I'm going to use my first upgrade, even though uh, it isn't going to upgrade my damage. I'm going to use it on the telescope here because it's a rare relic, and rare relics cost more HP to upgrade than common relics. These cost 0.5. This starts out as one, and then you need 1.5 HP to upgrade it. Um, hmm, which one were we gonna? Okay, this. Yeah, we're gonna sell the cookie jar here. Oh, not yet though. Not yet. Not yet. I almost made a mistake here. First, we want to upgrade for 0.5 HP here. We're gonna upgrade this. No, this. Yeah, we'll upgrade this first. Though we are also gonna upgrade this, and then we're gonna sell this the cookie jar which gives us a relic hammer and you can only sell one relic per uh, metro station so always keep that in mind we got our relic, uh, relic hammer here and we're going to upgrade this now we have plus 40 percent damage off of this and we're also going to upgrade this i'm an upgrade fiend okay four max hp so we lost two max hp out of that total but we got way 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 stronger that's what's important in this game and we're not going to deal with her for now. Um, I don't even want to talk about her. <laughs> uh, she's not important to our run right now. Uh, if I ever interact with her on a run, I'll talk about what she does. But she is just kind of there. She's chilling. And this is the honeycomb. The hollowed, hollowed hive. Yeah, that's what it's called. There's a secret room here. When the music stops like that, you always take notice because it just lets you know there's a secret room. Uh, these larva guys are very annoying. These used to be the bane of my existence when I first started running, uh, playing this game. But now they're not so bad. You just have to make sure you, they, you attack them when they're looking the direction that is not important to you. Up there is a key. Always make sure to grab the leftovers. And we just focused for half, a full, uh, half of a new full HP. You need to focus four times total to get a max HP. More damage. Damn, we are getting high up there in the damage. 85%. We're going to lose 5% every new area, but that's not a big deal. We'll probably gain it back in just picking up uh, random upgrades. This could have a secret room in it. Oh, there's a one of the tickets I was talking about. We can't do anything with it right now. Oh, yeah, we can't even pick it up yet. Durr. Uh, we'll get it in a second. There we go. That will help us at the start of the next run, but for now, it's it's nothing. And there was no secret room in here, so we're moving on. We're almost to the sacrifice room, though in this one, it's not a sacrifice room, actually. And I'll talk about that when we get there. Okay, that this guy is a little bit dangerous. Uh, every time you attack him, though, he charges at the wall, so you can stun lock him like that very easily. 
Like, keep him facing that wall, and he can't hurt you. Same with this guy. These guys are, push are pushovers right now. They can break into a bunch of little worms, but it's basically free souls at that point. Like, uh, there is no secret room in here because of this right here, so I didn't even bother checking. And this is... I don't know what this is, actually. What is this? Is this a boss? Oh. A key piece. I assume this has to do with the, the uh, true ending? Is, oh, what's this? Dreaming alone in their crystalline home, memories lost might once again flower. To face the unknown, come healthy and alone, find what it, what's hidden in the tower. A little bit of a poem there. I don't quite know what it means. I'm experiencing this for the first time. Uh, real, real react, uh, true genuine reaction. We're gonna focus here at the start of this room. Oh, never mind. we're in the safety room. Okay, we're gonna get a max HP here. New max HP, we're at five, which is very good. Uh, this is not a sacrifice room, technically. It's a choice item. You can get cho choose between two items. Uh, let's look at our synergies real quick. Celestial. I think this has Celestial on it. Uh, nah. Our accuracy, if we decrease our accuracy, we're going to be in big trouble. So we'll just take this, and we get a full synergy out of this. I don't quite know what this synergy does, though. Um, celestial. Where is that? Using a celestial weapon shoots out a few star bullets. Hmm. We sh we could definitely use our new celestial weapon then. And I actually didn't quite read what this even did. Actually, let me have another look at this. Um, immunity to the enemy contact damage. Oh, that's so good! Holy shit! Wow, that's insane. We can still take damage from bullets, but we can't take damage from enemies like touching us. That's incredible. Wow, what a good pickup. And we didn't even need to sacrifice an HP for it. This run is uh, feeling good. And here's a challenge room. I'm going to focus up here. Uh, what do we got? Uh, just defeat enemies. Very easy. Very simple. Uh, shouldn't be a problem at all. Which means free loot. Uh, these are enemies from the next area. Very interesting. I guess we do have the, um, the modifier on that does that. But uh, they're not an issue. None of these are. We're too high off the ground. Okay, no, these slimes could be a problem. These slimes are a pain in the butt. They leave, like, traps lying around. But uh, we're fine. Ooh. Oh, okay, this is getting, getting, getting kind of sketchy. How many enemies are left? Okay, one, one, we're fine. Yeah, we're out here. Didn't take any damage. Did a very good job. What's this? Ooh, that's decent. We'll take that. Uh, that seems like it could be a good upgrade target. I think it maybe can give max HP. I'm not entirely sure about items like that. We'll find out. Um, secret room. Oh yeah, there is a secret room here. So I'm glad I checked. Always check. like, But you will lose a lot of HP in a run checking for secret rooms. But you still should because they're very good. They have lots of uh, useful things in them. Like this shield for instance. Focus up. We're almost to another max HP, which is actually incredible. We have so much HP right now. Uh, ooh. Okay, a chest room. We're probably going to go in there. If I'm close to a max HP, I won't, though, because we will we will have to spend an HP to, uh, to get in there. Actually, I probably still will, now that I really think about it. Because it, it's an item, right? Yeah, I'm doing it. I might not open it. No, oh, okay, I'm opening it. Ha! -ha! What is this? Oh. Uh, Hundred percent damage for sixteen floors? I don't think so. <laughs> no, sir. So we pretty much wasted a key and our HP. But uh, sometimes that happens. That I've never picked up that item. It's very scary. We have a cat room here. I'll explain what that is when we go in. Very uh, very interesting thing that's about to happen. Ooh, come on, dog! Damn, that just I wasn't paying enough attention, I guess. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, okay. We're wasting souls here. Let's do some focusing here. Don't let these disappear. Nice. Alright, 
let's spend our key and go in and see what the cats have to offer. Max HP. What do you got? Damage for... What is this? I don't know what this is. But I'm certainly not willing to trade off damage. Mm, wasted another key. Very unfortunate. Uh, we're not doing that, though. Oh, well. There's plenty of keys to be picked up throughout the run. So, not a big deal. Oh, another Celestial Weapon. Okay, that's perfect. Haven't had an opportunity to find a secret room, though, because all of these rooms have had other doors in them, so... Oh, I'll be uh, taking that. Thank you. Don't want to lose my... Uh, my combo here, so let's hurry up and kill these guys. Okay, good. More damage. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get some stats off of this celestial weapon here. Oh my god, you gotta be joking. Dog. <laughs> hey, we got an achievement, though. And we got to see what the... Uh... We got to see... Okay, so that gave us half a way to max HP, and it gave us um, an achievement, which actually unlocks an item. So, also, listen to the music layering over each other. They need to fix this. This is, like, the worst part about this game. It's so bad. Um, we have another uh, chest here. Hopefully, this one will help us, because we are going to go in there. Okay, let's not break our combo here. We want to keep shields... Oh, fuck. As soon as I say... Oh, okay. Barely dodge that. I want to keep shields for the next uh, secret area that we can get to. The secret uh, level. You need two shields to get there. We have the one. We had two, but we lost the other one. Also got another max HP. Very, uh, this room is certainly max HP heavy. Fire rate and speed. Very good. This run is uh, absolutely popping off for how early we are into it. Uh, here comes the boss. Uh, I'm sure if you know the stages of grief, you know what this is going to be. He's an angry boy. He's raging. Uh, he. This is a variant of rage. There is. There are two variants of this boss. Uh, this is the secret level variant of it. The the beehive version of it. Um, I think this guy's a little bit harder than the uh, normal first level variant of Rage, but he's also really not all that bad himself. They're both fairly easy, but um, getting a perfect on them is fairly difficult because he just flies everywhere. But so far, so good. I'm not going to jinx it, though. I wish I had the shield instead of this hook shot. But I did make the decision to get rid of the shield. But we also perfected this, so another max HP for us. Boom. Very good. This run is freaking insane. Uh, yeah. We have a lot of um, HP to spend for upgrades here. Oh, wait. No, we don't get upgrades. I forgot. This is the secret bonus level. The metro stations are a little bit different when you go to a bonus level, and I'll show you how once we get here. Instead of the upgrade guy, we have this guy. Keep pushing my buttons, kid, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he just wants us to, to buy, buy, buy. He doesn't care about anything we have to say. He just like, please, buy my shit, okay? I don't give a fuck about you, kid. Just, if you're not going to buy anything, get the fuck out. Uh, Cyclops. Um, don't know what that does. But I don't think we are offered Cyclops here. Oh, yes, we are. Okay, we'll take this. This is a familiar. Uh, he, just like an Isaac, familiars uh, deal damage for you. Oh, that's a very niche, um, an extremely niche, uh, like, synergy. But we'll still make use of it. Like, no, it is what it is. Chance for a second soul to spawn on enemy death. That's incredible. We'll take that. So we got two rare items from this one. Took two max HP, but absolutely worth it. We have so much HP that it doesn't matter. And we are moving on to the Arid Anthene. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna try and say that. Okay, the Arid. What the the Arid? Whatever the fuck. That's what it's called. Okay. So here in the Arid, whatever the fuck. Um, there are. There's a super secret. 
bonus secret room that we currently can't do anything with. However, uh, there are still normal secret rooms, so we still have to check for secret rooms anytime we uh, see an area where they can be. And there is one in here. I'm almost, actually, okay, I shouldn't say that, but I'm, yeah, there is, okay. Sometimes I accidentally hit an enemy, and I think it's a secret room because it makes the noise, but then it turns out to not be a secret room, but yeah, there is a secret room in here. Could be the ice mirror, and it's not. It's an upgrade. And we are just getting so much soul in this run. I don't know what's going on. We don't even have modifiers for it, but we're just getting so much. I guess we're just maintaining our um, our combo very well. Uh, there's a shrine here. Uh, I don't know what shrine that is, but shrines are like um, like the things in Gungeon, where you find them and they uh, give you little bonuses whenever you break them. Just to make sure we're not skipping a secret room. And we did that while maintaining our combo, which I'm very happy about. Uh, but there is no secret room in here. There is a ticket, however. Yeah, no secret room. What's this? Uh, a Shrine of Moonlight. I don't know what that does, but usually whenever I see a shrine, I uh, I break it. Unless, of course, it's one that I don't want. More max HP, by the way. And that takes a, a little bit of HP off of us, but it's certainly worth it to uh, get the effect usually, even though I don't know what that does. I'm still going to do it. And we are almost to the sacrifice round, so I would like to get that HP back if I could. And there is no bonus room in here, or secret room, I should say. So we don't have to worry about it, and we can just focus on not get taking damage. Yes, sir. And we absolutely got our HP back. So we can actually sacrifice up to 7 max uh, seven HP in this room. Not that I'm going to, probably. But we have 7 different relics we can choose from. Very powerful. Like, this is going to be a very good sacrifice room. Lowered HP, not necessarily uh, what I'm looking for. No. It doesn't even give family, so we're not interested. That's good, but I don't think it's worth 5 HP. Um, that's good. Not necessarily worth it. Okay, so these aren't the best options, actually. Uh, that's horrible. This is not what we're looking for. This is decent. Uh, this is, this is good, actually. Maybe I should take this. Yeah. It, uh... Yeah, let's take this. It gives us a shield, I think. Yeah, it does. And we need we need shields. So immediately make use of this uh, to hopefully get to the secret level. I just have to not take damage, and it's guaranteed. Which I'm certainly going to try and do. Oh, trap. Oh, and a secret room. Though that is most likely going to be the uh, the um, the ice mirror, so don't get too excited when you see a secret room in this stage. Uh, we're gonna just let that soul disappear. Oh, never mind. We took damage, so we're actually not guaranteed to get to the secret room or the secret level, which is very sad. Uh, I hope we get to, but we might not. If we could get to the secret level, it would be insane. Here's the ice mirror, by the way. Can't do anything with it. Not yet. I, I don't know what it does. We'll have to uh, wait and see what the story has in store, I guess. Secret room? That's not, oh yeah, there's a door in here, so of course it's not. I need to remember my own rules. Which means we can just focus on killing these guys. Uh, these flying guys with the orbitals are like some of the most annoying enemies in this level. So I'm not shocked that I took damage against them. I would really love it if they offered me a shield in here. Please, game, could you be uh, so kind as to give me a shield? Your bullets have a chance to charm enemies. Resurrects you upon death. Holy shit. Uh, a key. Jeez, what do I do? Well, I mean, this is just good. I will take this. But this is cursed. Or corrupted, I should say. And 
I do not want to get corrupted because we could get a horrible effect that will ruin the run. Uh, I don't care about being resurrected that much when I die. If the run loses, it loses. That's how I feel about it. So if you died, you probably weren't strong enough to win anyway. Those are like trap items in my opinion. But the charm is going to be very good. Oh no, that might have been a secret that we missed. Uh, but the, the music didn't quieten down, so I'm... Hope, I'm, I guess I'm coping a little bit and hoping that it wasn't, but it probably was. We haven't found one of the statues yet that we can trade our shields into. Ooh, okay, we almost... Oh! Okay, we took damage. Very unfortunate. Okay, uh, we're not going to the secret level. Almost certainly. We would need to get two shields from this challenger because I just took too much, and we took more damage from a trap. I haven't mentioned it yet, but um, you can get a higher jump if you shoot beneath you as you first jump off the ground. See, this is the normal jump. This is the high jump. I haven't been doing it that much, but it's actually a really good uh, movement technique. So what does challenge have to offer us this time? Survive for 30 seconds, which means we don't have to kill anything, but you still should. If you don't, you lose combo. But uh, it's not about killing, it's just about surviving. Uh, not necessarily a, a hard challenge, but uh, it can be. There is a trap down here, so we always have to be aware of that. Oh, okay, we're going to take damage. Damn it! And we already lost some of our combo, which is very unfortunate. But we got back to two, so it's fine. Ooh, bada bing. Okay, we barely got through that without taking another damage. Ooh, this orbital kind of sucks, but we're going to take him. There's no point in not. Uh, the issue with orbitals like this is they have to be... You ha like He doesn't do anything on his own. If you shoot through him, your, damn it, your bullets have the burning effect applied to them. But uh, it's just very um, tedious to use. But I would say, yeah, okay, we're going to find the first shield statue in here. We're not going to be able to give her a shield. So, yeah, very unfortunate. Uh, no secret level for me. But that's what I get for playing badly. It is what it is. But we still get to go to the normal level. And uh, at least if I'm not getting the secret ending. Oh, wait a second. I mean, this is like, yeah, I, I'm just going to keep this. I can't give her that because if I do, uh, I won't get another shield and it'll just have been wasted. Ooh, what is this? Oh my goodness. This is an incredible item to get. Now our bullets do this. Yeah. We're getting into broken territory here. I guess the only issue is they have to fly out pretty far from me before they break into different pieces, but it's like a very minor complaint. These, this is very powerful. Alright, this must be a big room because it's taking a lot of load in. My laptop isn't the best, so it does struggle a bit while playing, but, you know, so far it's been pretty good with it. Uh, watch out for these guys. We actually deal more damage to these enemies, and we also take damage to them, apparently. Good on me. Oh, and I didn't mention it before, but um, these prison keys are... Uh, it sends items that can be bought from that NPC I showed you at the start of the game where you can buy new uh, items from him to uh, get more relics that diversify the run variability. And there's almost 200 of them, so uh, the run variability in this game is ridiculous. We're going to focus here. And here comes the boss. Is this a modified room? Yes, it is. It has icicles. This is going to be very hard to get a perfect on. But this boss is not really all that hard. I used to really struggle with this boss when I first started playing, but um, he's actually not too bad. Uh, just watch out for his uh, top attack, which he didn't do. So, With the icicles here, the top attack is going to be very dangerous for me. Let's stand a little bit back from him. Okay, here comes... This attack is, is, like, intimidating, but it's actually not really hard to dodge at all. As you can see, we just used it to, like, deal a bunch of damage to him. I think we got the perfect. Yes, we did. We got a perfect. Nice. More max HP. That's three perfects. That's really good. 
We're just stacking and stacking our max HP here. And th this is also a max HP. Wait, okay, never mind. It looked like it was two of them, but it was just duplicated in the crystal. It was, uh, it was tricking me. But we can use that to uh, upgrade an item for free, so still good. We have so much max HP to work with here. It's upgrades galore right now. No secret level, but eh, you know, at least the run has a chance of success. Because if I got the true ending, I would not, I would not win it the first time I saw it. I guarantee you. I am not good enough at this game to uh, do that. Um, what do we want? Oh, that's good. Uh, that is not necessary. This is a good option. That's a good option. Um, I'm going to start with this. And then what can I sell here? Oh, I know what I'm selling. The Tiki Torch. Sorry, Tiki Torch. Don't want you. You're not good enough. We get a free upgrade off of this Tiki Torch. And we will use that to upgrade. What was it again? This. And... I'm going to upgrade this and this. So we're back to five max HP, almost six, which can get to six very easily. But now we are insanely strong. Look at this. It is insane. Run is ridiculous. We're in. Oh my God. What? Hang on. What? How did this happen? I don't know, but we're in the secret level. Um, I am kind of shocked. Uh, I'm sure people watching this know what's happening, but I don't. I think this has to do with the, the true ending. But uh, I'm certainly happy to be here. Very happy to be here. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Remember the max HP? Remember the max HP? <laughs> oh yeah. Six max HP. I wonder what we're going to do with that, fellas. Ladies and gents, what are we going to do with that? Who's to say? Um, oh, okay. I, I better be careful. I don't want to get too cocky here. Uh, the traps in this level are very dangerous. These bombs here will uh, deal a lot of damage to you if you aren't careful. They only took one shield off of me, though, so it's not a big deal. I just got to be more careful. I'm just very excited for what's about to happen. This is a very good candidate for a secret level oh my god okay yeah i said that and then i immediately uh, let myself get damaged by them uh gonna be looking for a secret room here but it doesn't appear to be one which is actually really shocking there were so many options for one to be in here i'll have another one last look around maybe i just didn't hear the noise but i don't think there is nope not a big deal I, I do need to maintain my shields, though, for sure. With what I'm about to do. Um, yes. Hmm. This is not a sacrifice statue, because you see, I'm there are no relics offered here. So what is happening here? I can go up to six. What does this six mean? Six what? Six relics. That's right. Literally six relics. Yes, it is that crazy. Uh, this doesn't help me, but we'll still take it. This helps me. I think this is fear. Bleed. Okay, that's even better. This is fire rate for each room cleared without taking damage, but resets upon taking damage. Not a good item for me because I suck at, the, suck at not taking damage, but we'll still take it. Uh, this gives me confusion and uh, critical hits apply bleed. Very good. This is a cursed item. We'll have to think about this before we take it. Shop items are cheaper. That's incredible. And this is bullets uh, pierce, which is actually really good, but it is corrupted. But I am going to take it because this is just such a good effect. Enemies might spawn. Other enemies want death. Adds two corrupted HP. I don't know what this does, actually. I do not know what the corrupted HP does. Uh, 
it could be horrible and I just doomed the run, but I'm taking it because I don't know what it does, which is less scary than what I do know what the other thing does. So, and when it says they spawn enemies upon death, those enemies don't drop souls, so it's not like a way to uh, to get more uh, get more souls than you would otherwise. It's just a way to uh, make yourself have to fight more enemies. I think actually, you know what? I think corrupted HP is just HP that that takes up max HP slots, so I can't get above um, this amount of HP. Which, if that's the case, that's nothing. That's super good. Enter the void myth. It's heartless power. Spend all you have climbing the tower. Devoid of memory all alone. Maybe peace awaits beyond the throne. Uh, that is a reference to the final boss. Wait, what? What is this? Um, there's supposed to be a key fragment in here, but... Do I have both of the keys? I have a key piece. Uh-oh, did I, like, do myself to not get the true ending? Um, well, I certainly hope not, but that appears to be the case. I do not know what has happened here. Uh, but I am in the secret level regardless, so I don't care. Not really, at least. Uh, if I came all this way not to get to the uh, secret ending, I would be a little upset, but it is what it is. We're fine. I don't exactly know how it works. Uh, maybe it's like a um, you you bring one key piece to the end and you win with it and then you have it forever and then you have to do another run to get the other piece and that's how you get both key pieces out but I don't know. I don't know. That's just a guess on my part. I'm not sure if that's actually how it works. Um, though we are moving along. Secret room. Uh, you can see that Bullet Pierce has absolutely broken this run wide open. Uh, I'm now ridiculous. Like, I do- I am just so- so able to dish out damage that it's not even funny. Um, I think this run's gonna be a win. I'm probably not gonna spend too much more of my HP. I just wanna start gaining max HP. Just so I have enough to fight the final boss. But, uh... I don't know, maybe an item will catch my fancy and I'll take it. I will go to shops if I see them. And I will absolutely, absolutely take this celestial weapon. Don't give me the shield. Oh, finally. Charge up a throwable scythe, creating soul when it hits enemies. I actually don't know if this is good or not, but it has to be better than the non-offensive items I have. We're not going in there. Also, I'm, I'm very sorry if you heard me doing that. Um... I, I burped. <laughs> I, and I'm very sorry if you heard it. Um, I had to, though. Um, yeah. Uh, not going in there. And we're just going to keep going and collecting max HP. Uh, just trying our best to get ourselves as ready for the final boss as possible. Still going to be looking for secret rooms, though. You're never. I'm a secret room fiend. You're never going to stop me. Can't stop, won't stop. Uh... No, we didn't actually get to check for a secret room, but it's not a big deal. I, literally, as I was saying, I'm a secret room fiend, but I actually thought there would be more enemies, and there wasn't. Uh, this boss is, uh, if you know the stages of grief, you know, it, you knew it was coming. This is depression, but uh, this is like a stronger version of depression that you get in the... Uh, Get in the secret level. There are two versions of this boss, just like Rage. This one, we are absolutely going to shred because we have bullet piercing. In fact, I would say that the other version of these, this boss would actually be harder, uh, but we um, we have bullet piercing. So uh, this is like literally the worst boss for that he, it, he, he, he fucked himself, okay? I didn't even try and go for, uh, for a hitless here. I just wanted to uh, obliterate him, as it says there. Absolutely just demolish. He is in shambles. And we are moving on. Didn't use my scythe, I should have. Where are we going now? That would be 
the um, the final act. And just like the last metro of the secret, last secret level, this is a uh, uh, one just like that one. Because you're a fire and bullets have a chance to inflict charm. Oh my god, give me. We're not taking this. This would be... Okay, may, actually, this is plus damage. Uh, but I did say, you know what? We already have enough damage. I don't want to get greedy and take a, a corruption and it end up fucking my run. We're just going to move right on to the ticking tower top. The final level that I know of. I There might be more, but I'm not sure. Either way, this is the last one we're probably going to be seeing. And it is actually a normally very hard level, but we are so strong that I don't think we're going to have any trouble with it. We are just that powerful right now. Three shields, uh, almost six magic HP. We have two corrupted hearts, but that doesn't matter. Who who the hell would need more HP than this? Maybe the final bosses is hard enough to where that would be like relevant, but I certainly can't imagine needing more HP than like like six at the most, since every heart counts for two. Okay, let's not be stupid here and lose our shields. Maybe I shouldn't be such a secret room fiend right now. I feel like it might hurt me more than help me. In rooms like this, maybe I won't be a secret room fiend. Though it is... I did say can't stop, won't stop. I sh maybe I shouldn't go back on my word so easily. A little bit of lag. It's normal... If you're new to this channel, a little bit of lag is a thing I say a lot. So, uh, welcome. Let's not kill this guy. Let's look for a secret room. And there is one. A uh, sacrifice room is up ahead. I don't know if I'm going to uh, use it super heavily. We'll see what's offered. Let's go ahead and get another max HP. Alright, what do you got? Your bullets... Oh my god. Okay. Uh, oh my god. We're not getting it, but it would be hilarious if we did. That would be decent. Though our, our familiar isn't really doing that much. Are we close to getting soul here? I know we have a soul item. We have almost have witch. Spirited is what I'm talking about. Uh, we only have one, so that wouldn't help. Alright, what are the... Um, the synergies here. This would be so fun, but it, it would also probably kill the run. Um, actually, let's just skip it. None of that is super uh, appealing. Wait, what was the first one? Yeah, let's just take this. Why not? Like, it's nothing crazy. But the familiar will do a little more, and we might as well take something. None of that was super crazy, though. The run's already broken, so it's not like we need that much more. And there is a challenge room, which means no secret room, so I can just focus on killing everyone. And I absolutely will. Haha! -ha! I'm way too powerful. Alright, what's the challenge today, sir? Defeat all enemies. Wow, that sounds so hard. Can I, I? I don't know if I can do it, man. I'll try. <laughs> wow, that is insane. What's this? Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> this run is just... It's just getting stronger and stronger. You know, when I thought we were maxed out on our power, I, the game came to say, uh-uh. Nuh-uh. No, you can get way stronger than this, bro. You thought. I'm gonna say it. Little bit of lag. Uh, not a big room either. Kind of weird. But it, you know, we're we're in, so I guess that's what matters. Oh, and there is a shop, so no secret room. Let's heal. I might buy something at the shop. Uh, we'll see. At the very least, they might offer like a shield or something. What is this? Um, not really useful. This is, and this is. 
but this is only 0.5, but we, we're very close to the boss. Uh, I want to make sure I have all of my HP for that, so let's just not. We're only four rooms away from it. I wish I knew what happened in the secret level and why, um, why we weren't able to uh, find the key piece. I picked it up on a previous run, but I died in that run. So... I don't know what wrong. What went wrong, I mean. Very strange. Hopefully I'm right about uh, my guess that uh, that if you get one of the key pieces in one run, the other one is locked off to you until you get both of them. But uh, who knows? Here's another key. We uh, got another permanent relic that we can unlock. Very slowly but surely making our way to this boss. Um, this has been an incredible first run to show off. Just insane. Um, didn't think it would get this strong, but here we are. Just showing off how you can absolutely break this game. And that the, um, I'm sure a lot of people are really uh, like at first intimidated by the HP costing everything aspect of this game. But you really shouldn't be because it's like, it just adds another layer of depth and uh, thinking you have to do. Shields really help with uh, with uh, your HP totals. Okay, there is a chest here. I might look at it. We do um, have enough to heal off the damage we take. And we have a key. This is actually a really scary last room. Uh, it's not giving us any trouble, but... Uh, that's just because we're very powerful, but that would have been very scary under normal circumstances. Let's see if we get a decent final relic here. What did we get? That is more damage. <laughs> no way. This run is ridiculous. All right, here comes the boss. Um, am I going to win? I mean, uh, maybe not. I, I am still learning this game you know to an extent uh this boss is an anomaly an enigma i mean uh he is not one of the stages of grief however he is still uh important to the lore we already took two damage actually i need to be very careful i don't need to get that cocky here make sure that i still play the game in a decent fashion but he is almost dead but it is in typical roguelike fashion. Not over yet. What's gonna happen, I wonder? We won, right? Oh, what's that? When I was first playing this game and I first got here, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> like I was like, when I when I finally beat him, I was like, yeah, but that's not that's not gonna be all there is, is it? Oh no. Ah, uh, that looks like me. But it's shadow me. Acceptance. The final... Um, the final stage of grief. Are we going to accept the, uh, the hardships that we've been through? Are we going to finally come to terms and heal? Uh, what do you think? I have been talking about a true ending this whole time. So use your meta knowledge to uh, figure it out. We are destroying this, by the way. Absolutely just demolishing this boss. Even though I did just dash the wrong way. We are getting very good attack patterns, and it's over. <laughs> it's over. Uh, holy shit, what a run. Holy shit, what a run. Uh, ridiculous run. That's the strongest run I've ever had by far. All right, you got anything to say, buddy? Uh, am I going to accept him? No. Boom, baby. He's dead. See ya. Trauma continued. To break the cycle of infinite death. Oh, this is new, actually. This is new. Oh, what the fuck? And the infested hives. But I have one. I have one of them. But I have one. That's. But I got one, dog. I tried, okay? I tried. I tried to overcome my trauma. I tried. All right, what do you got? Adrift with no pain to propel me to its peak. I find myself wandering from my pre predetermined path. Not just among the ramparts above, but also into the dusty chasm secretly tucked away below. 
when I stumble upon a hidden laboratory, I begin to wonder if it if the answers I've been chasing have been down here all along. Yes, a hidden laboratory. Totes. It's right here, dog. They hit it. it's it's somewhere around here. That's probably where we would be going next if uh, the game hadn't cheated me out of a key. Uh, but, alas, we have to accept our fate. Accept your fate? Yes, sir. We win, but do we win is the question. I guess not. I guess this is like, you know, did we win? No. We just take our seat upon the throne and become the boss, the final boss that you have to fight again in a uh, permanent loop. And we got an achievement. And this is our run here. GG. Holy shit, what a great first showcasing of this game. Very, uh, very fun run. Very cool. We might have even been able to get a final boss, like a, a true ending, if this had been able to get to that point. But unfortunately, we got cheated out of it. But, I mean, really, just... I, I honestly can't believe it went that well for the first run. Uh, I will be doing a lot more of Revita, by the way. I'm obsessed with this game right now. And I think it's just a phenomenal game. Just a, it's, it's beautiful. Everything about it is just gorgeous. The story, the lore, the uh, mechanics of the game. Everything about it. This is one of the best roguelikes ever made. And this is just... Hopefully it becomes a staple name when people talk about this genre of games and people mention this game and just It deserves all the praise in the world And I really hope that uh, more people start playing it and buying it and supporting the dev The dev seems like a like a they're very active in their community and they just seem like a, a very Cool person from what I've seen of them. So shout outs to them shout outs to Revita shout outs to um, Just a phenomenal game and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, and you made it this far, I really appreciate it. And I will see you again in the next one. Hopefully we can get that true ending, though I am going to play off screen. So the next time I'm recording, I might already know the true ending. But eh, it doesn't really matter. Rogue, the, you know, roguelites are roguelites. They're not so much about the story, though this one certainly is more story driven than a lot of roguelites. Either way, I got to stop rambling. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again in the next one.